What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, this is The Smuggler's Room, and today we wanna scale things down a little bit. Find a unique way to display some of my collection. So let's get started. I've collected a fairly large amount of these Star Wars Black Series figures. I know, I know, I'm 45 years old and I still play with toys and I'm perfectly fine with that. That said, I really want a more interesting way to display the collection. I've been a big fan of the Sideshow collectibles for years, but I've also learned that I don't quite have the budget for a lot of those figures. What I do like about those great sculpts are the most interesting ways they assemble the bases. Often little scenes are showcasing the figure on top of it or within it. So for our friend Hondo here, I thought it might be interesting to set him up around crates full of cargo that he just stole from someone and we've caught him in the middle of celebrating. <laughs> I really enjoy working on models and dioramas. Working in scale can be really rewarding, and as strange as it may sound, I feel like it helps me with my larger scale builds. I get to practice different types of construction, painting techniques, and in some cases, a lot of electronics. Construction on this project, I keep fairly straightforward. I wanted to use extra pieces that I kitbashed from other models, some pieces of XPS foam that I've been sculpting into rocks, and a few resin 3D prints that I've had in a box for a really long time. Working on large projects often span a couple of weeks or in some cases several months in order to complete. I find them enjoyable, but it also can be very exhausting. Sometimes that exhaustion is physical and other times it's mental. What I find is that shifting gears and working on 
Smaller scale projects that I can finish in a day or two can be incredibly rewarding. Something like this scale model is exactly what I need this week to kind of get my mind back and reset, as well as finding a way that I can accomplish a build from start to finish over the course of a weekend. That oftentimes leaves me excited and it fuels me for the next bigger project on the list. Remember when I mentioned working on new skills or techniques? Yeah, I still struggle a bit with epoxy pores. I forgot to pull the protective film off the inside of the plastic strip that I used as my epoxy dam. So, not perfect by any stretch. However, I learned another lesson and the next time I'll do it even better. Whenever I take on a small scale build or a diorama, I get really excited. And I love the process, it's super enjoyable. We'll always do full scale builds, props, costumes, and so on, but I can also see us doing a lot more of these kinds of projects. What do you think? Did you enjoy this? Do you have others you'd like to see us build? I'd love your feedback. Me, I'm pretty excited with the final result. Even with the epoxy fail, it's still not a bad little project. We appreciate all of you watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're in the mood for a little more Smuggler's Room action, check out this video right here. It's a really good one. And we'll see you the next time we build something out of nothing.